Hello, Wesley family, and thanks for joining us. We are Keith and Julie Smith. We were married 26 years ago at Wesley, and we have one son, Elijah. For tonight's devotion, we are going to take a few minutes to reflect on the importance of family of origin and how the family you grew up with can impact a marriage. Consider for a moment, when you say, I do, you not only marry your spouse, you are also committing yourself to, the, to their entire family. Some may consider it as baggage, Others may see it as a blessing, but regardless of how you see it, your own history can have an influence on how you view marriage and family. Often we look at a married couple and think, wow, they seem like a perfect fit for each other. But what were they like before they were together? Where did they come from and who were they? Keith and I came from very different backgrounds and God must have had to work overtime to get our past across, but I'm sure glad he did. Who we are as individuals is usually a reflection of the people we grew up with. We may not realize it, but our parents, our grandparents, and the many members of our families will influence the, des the decisions that we make as adults and as we start our own families. The traditions we grew up with may have been very important to us and can affect the way we choose to celebrate holidays and family gatherings. The significance we put on relationships can, re can be reflected in how our own families connect with each other. The way our parents handled their finances may help us develop our own financial strategies, or not. The size of our individual families may influence our plan for children. I have 11 siblings. And I have two. Whether or not your family attended church while you were growing up will certainly have a huge impact on your relationship with God. When you think about it, most of us can look back and see the many ways we have been influenced by aspects within our own family. As the Bible states in Genesis 2.24, For this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. This doesn't mean that we stop being who we are, or who our family background has led us to become as individuals. We can use those experiences to strengthen our marriage by openly sharing with each other how our individual family histories have influenced our attitudes about money, children, sex, relationships, God, and just about every aspect of how a family functions on a daily basis. However, it does mean that as a married couple, we are to develop family traditions that we both enjoy instead of a tradition that leaves one of us on the sidelines. We are to establish a financial strategy that we both agree to. We will work as a team to raise our children and we will continually grow together while still embracing what makes us who we are. But most importantly, it means we are to put our spouse ahead of our own families, to make our partner the highest priority in our lives, and to transfer our loyalties from our own families to each other. Our family history does not have to define who we are, but we need to respect each other's past, consider who we are in the present as a gift from God, and look to the future with eyes on each other. John 14, 27 says, God can bring peace to your past, purpose to your present, and hope to your future. In closing, we would like to revisit an old wedding tradition of the unity candle. In more traditional wedding ceremonies, the parents of the couple come forward and light a candle for the bride and groom. And then the couple lights the center candle from the two outside candles. The unity candle symbolizes the joining of their families and the merging of two individuals to become one. Would you pray with us? Dear God, thank you for our families those who helped us make us who we are today, and for your presence in our marriage. And together with you, we renew our wholehearted choice to love. We ask that you bless this holy commitment to each other with courage, strength, tenacity, and most of all, joy. Amen. Fun fact, this candle was actually on our altar at our wedding 26 years ago. This purple one right here in the center. Thanks for being a part of our journey, church.